Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. I am back. I have another Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I had a couple more bags. Uh, I brought them in, but I left them by the front door, so I, they didn't make it to my studio. So anyway, it's it's like another haul, but it's actually the same haul I just filmed already. But uh, before we get into what else I bought at Dollar Tree today, I just wanted to give you an update on these. A lot of people asked me to uh, tell them what I thought of these. These are the Eco Strips. Dissolve Laundry Detergent Eco Strips Ultra Concentrated. One strip equals one load, it says. So um, I'll show you. And I have to say that I think they, they smell lovely. I love this scent of fresh linen. So, so this is what they look like and you actually like tear these apart and you only need to use one strip per load they say and it smells very very nice and i have to tell you they it feels uh it feels unusual but uh i just tried one this morning i i got up and i saw that kitty my beloved kitty had been sick on blanky here that i keep in my studio so I took one of these, uh, you just tear it off like this, very simple, and then you tear it. I have a front-loading uh, washing machine, so the directions for that say to tear this up into little strips and put it into the um, detergent dispenser that's at the, the top of the machine. So that's what I did, and I have to tell you, Blanky came out all clean, and it it has a very very light scent of the fresh linen uh, and so far it looks clean I can't find uh, I can't find where the dirt was and so yeah so uh, I'm I plan on packing a couple of these when I travel I just think they're super convenient I like that they like they're not sticky or anything they're basically just the detergent that's been, I guess, laid out on a sheet. I, it reminds me of like, if, you know, if you're making um, a Laffy Taffy or, you know, you make that fruit jerky or beef jerky and uh, you, it's just, you know, it's just layered down on the, on it's flattened out, I should say, on like a cookie sheet type of thing. Uh, it, that's what this is basically, is detergent that's been just, I don't know, con mixed up and then dried on the sheet and you know very very thin and it tears like paper so I don't, kudos kudos for them for uh, thinking about that and I don't know how this would work on some very uh, soiled laundry like if you know you're playing in the mud type of thing I have not tried it but uh, like I said I got to try it this morning for my kitty's blankie and it worked so and I didn't see any of these again this week at the Dollar Tree. It's interesting. So maybe they've sold out. So maybe there is something good about them. I don't know. So the other stuff I picked up at Dollar Tree today were, uh, I got these little little trash cans. I think these are really cute. I already had some. I've had them for years and years. I have a blue one and a green one. One for recycling and one for trash. And I've always had them in my craft room on my desk. And when I saw that... Uh, there were these two available at my store in pink and and purple. I thought these are perfect for my studio. I just love the colors. So I just got these to put here on my desk so I could have one for recycling and one for garbage. Because when I'm I'm working here at my desk, it's not like when I'm working uh, in the, the the rest of the studio where I have a big garb I have a big garbage can and recycling bin uh, built in one. Near the near the door um, for all the trash that does accumulate in the, in the studio, all the recycling and the trash. But sometimes I'm at my desk and I have a, just a little bit of something to throw out, or a little piece of paper, a staple, or something. And I don't really have room here to have a trash bin on the floor, so uh, I tend to use like a little basket from the dollar store and I just toss things in there. So when I saw these, I thought these will be perfect. So just for the little bit of trash that I get on my desk here when I'm working, those will be perfect. 
So the other thing I picked up is that they had a couple more of these little drawers. They only had them in blue and red, blue, red, and green, and I wanted uh, either blue or the pink. So they only had the blue ones today, and there were two. So I got the two that they that they had because I have some empty spaces on my spinning uh, embellishment organizer storage thing that I made a video of, and you seem to like that. It seemed to be popular, so uh, yeah, that's to go in my my embellishment storage organizer thing. Now, the other thing I picked up this was new to me. And I'm not sure what I'll be doing with them. These are called silver plastic table card holders. So these are the little cards that come with it. And the idea is that if you are setting a, like a, a table like at a reception, let's say, um, and you can write the place setting, someone's place setting, or maybe even identify some food with it. So it, it's, it looks like silver, but it's plastic. And there's like a slit in the ring to put the card. So um, I don't need these for any kind of reception or party, but I just thought I'm probably gonna think up of something crafty. And that's why I got them. <laughs> so, and if I do need some place cards for some reception, I will have them. But yeah, this is a just in case thing. And I have no shame in that. <laughs> Got that. Uh, I got some of these travel jars. I am traveling next week, but that's not why I got these. I just got these because usually these seal pretty well, and sometimes I make my own uh, art supplies, and I need a little jar for them, and these are just a really perfect size for that. And so I got those. And uh, yes, I do. I when I travel, I like to have things that are very small and compact, like this uh, detergent sheet. And I like to have small size makeup and uh, hand cream. So that's what I got. I got a little tube of Glissomed. This I can have in my carry-on, because goodness knows, it gets dry on those airplanes. So I always have a little tube of hand cream and some makeup, the BB makeup, and the primer. This is such an excellent deal, by the way. Um, this is the makeup primer, and um, I never thought I would I would be using this, but I do, and it's great. And it's and it is such a good deal, people. Oh my goodness, makeup primer is so expensive at the drugstore, or in any like big department store where they have a beauty counter. So uh, to get this at Dollar Tree for buck twenty five, yeah, it's really good. Uh, the other thing I got were more of these uh, loot bags. I didn't have any. I used them all from the last time I went on a trip. I, I do make uh, some goodie bags for uh, when I travel to give to potential clients or to people that I know and I haven't seen. I make little gifts for them. And it's my signature color the, to have the pink in this world. So I like to use these bags for that. I also got this box of uh, resealable storage bags, just because we're always using these, so got them. And there's 10 in here for $1.25. They had, they, the Dollar Tree I was at had a whole like barbecue section. I guess it, or they call it their seasonal aisle or their barbecue aisle. Like this, this was on the end of an aisle. It wasn't with the other party stuff that they usually have. Uh, it could have been, but it was at the end of an aisle, not really fitting where anything else goes, but I thought that would have been with the other party party plates and stuff. And this was in like that seasonal aisle with a whole bunch of things for barbecuing. And this is a flavor injector, so it's basically a big syringe with this like needle here for injecting the juices into the, the meat that you're roasting and stuff. But that's not what I'll be doing with it. No, no, no. This will be staying here in my studio because this will be very practical for 
when I have to fill up little bottles or I have to refill things with ink. So this will be very handy. And also for my studio, of this little stainless steel bowl. It is the perfect size for me to mix things when I am create, I am making some of my own supplies. And I just, it's just perfect size and it's stainless steel. Plastic doesn't last uh, sometimes, but this is pretty sturdy. So it'll do a very good job. I also picked up another package. Well, I say another package because I've gone through them. Uh, six, six pieces of art palette. You can't beat this. $1.25 for six of these little art palettes. Like for those of you who teach uh, children or even like uh, paint and sip nights and stuff, what a great deal this is. So uh, six palettes for about 25 plastic paint palettes. And yeah, I will use them. I uh, picked up this super duper bag of 48 clear plastic spoons. That is because, yes, I will be using some of them for storing stuff in my, my studio. Uh, but also, I have a craft idea for these, so that's why I got them. And uh, these are chalkboard tag clothespins. These were with all the craft supplies. And I got these, they have little clothespins at the back. I got these because I use them to label the contents of some bins that I have up in my cupboards. So, um, I, cause they're, they're in these big bins and you can't see through them, but at least uh, this way I can label on here what's in them. And I can't stick a sticker on them because they're like a fabric, they're the fabric bins. I picked up another package of the reusable wipes. I really like these. I'm so surprised at how sturdy these are. I thought they would be like really flimsy and cheap and no, they are heavy duty. So I got another, this is really good for, for your money too. Six for $1.25. Yeah, so I got those. And I picked up this fun uh, poster board. I've seen this many times, but I just thought I should have this in my collection of papers because I really want to get back into my uh, collage uh, work so I thought this would be added to that collection and picked up some some mailing envelopes I got this size and I've got a really big size here uh, I do have a package to mail out to a friend of mine I hope you're watching uh, crafty share cupcake I did find something that you've been wanting, so I will uh, try to get that out in the mail if I don't do it by the end of this afternoon, because we're already in the middle of the afternoon. If I don't get to the po post office in time, I will try to go tomorrow morning, because it is open in the morning. So I will do my best, no promises, but if not, I will have to do it early next week, because today is Friday and tomorrow is Saturday. I got some books at the Dollar Tree. This one, it says, go ahead and like it. And it's basically uh, a book about making lists for things that you'd like to do, movies you'd like to see, things you'd like to get done before you die. <laughs> I don't know. And it has a lot of really cool imagery in it. And uh, I just thought it was really fun. And I also thought that this would be good to use uh, for my art journaling and collage work. So. Uh, I got, actually got two because for the price, really, $1.25 at Dollar Tree, uh, $1.25 here in Canada, I know a dollar in the U.S., but yeah, this, I don't feel so bad if I tear up those books for the images. I also got this one, the Punch Bowl, again, because uh, it's a great supply, it's a great piece to repurpose to alter into an altered book. It has beautiful images inside and that is what this book will probably get torn apart for a craft project. I did buy two. I always buy two. One uh, to read and keep in my library and the other one to tear apart. <laughs> I also picked up this book, Shabby Chic. There was only one of these so I definitely want to look at this carefully and read it. Uh, it's very pretty. It's all about home decorating in the shabby chic style. 
I do have uh, a book like this already, very, very similar that I got years and years and years ago. And I thought it was the same book, but it's not. It's a different author. So uh, yeah, I look forward to, to reading this. And finally, the other book, last item I have to show you is this, Faux Finishes. Uh, this is a little, I know this is a bit dated, just like the Shabby Chic book. I know this. these are a bit dated, uh, but I don't care because they're $1.25. And this, this one is all about um, faux finishes, like the, the paint effects you can give in your home to your walls and your floors. But a lot of what is in here in terms of paint effects, things that you can achieve with paint, you could also use on a smaller scale. And so that's why I got it because I like, I wanted to um, see if there's something I could learn, any technique that I haven't thought of or how to use a tool. Uh, you know, there's, there's techniques in here for uh, how to uh, recreate Italian plaster, how to, oh, let me show this one. Uh, get, oh, get verdigris, the verdigris look, you know, ways like that. So these are all techniques that we also use in the craft world, just on a smaller scale. So I just uh, thought that it was really uh, interesting book to have. There's a lot of fun things in here. Oh, oh, the rust one, organic rust. How to create the look of rust without actually having making rust and it also has a CD in here a DVD in here so that might be fun to to look at and that that is that for the Dollar Tree haul the second part of the haul I did today I want to thank you so much for watching I hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you did please like comment share and stay crafty and I'll see you later bye mm -hmm.